Hello everyone and welcome back to 4 Kilobyte Shorts Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. Um, update on our space station. Oh, um, it's not really the space station's fault. Can't blame the space station, you have to blame me. Uh, my machine is getting to the point where it's having difficulty both running my recording software and calculating the, the, the space station's connectivity, I guess you could call it. So, with my newest and latest attachments, as I attempt to attach them, my frame rate while recording drops from roughly 30 frames a second down to about 6. <laughs> Which means I think the space station is getting a little bit overly complicated for um, what it is. So I had an idea. I had an idea. My idea was to cut it short. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I'm gonna cut it short. Uh, I was going to add like a, another docking arm, and that's when I realized that there was a, a really big lag issue there, is because I was going to add a docking arm, and everything just slowed way down. I was like, oh, too many more parts, and this is not going to work. Um, I was also going to add a, a little Kerbal escape pod that could then come back down into um, on on the Kerbin. Um, but that wasn't working either. So. We're going to skip ahead to the final piece of this space station, and what we're going to call this is we're going to call this a bare bones space station. And the reason we're going to call it that is because it is basically a refueling station. So this is going to be kind of like a high level, high orbit, you know, it's 200,000 meters, a high orbit space station for the sole purposes of refueling, and it's only going to have one occupant. Yes, it's going to have one crazy occupant, and I already know who that occupant's going to be. Um, you may have already guessed as well. But because we only want one occupant, we're going to use this. Now, in my head, and also in Kerbin, Kerbal, Kerbal, <laughs> sorry, in in my head, and also in the game, Kerbal Space Program, I have designed a um, functional, a very, a, a much better, much more functional version of my. Uh, little tugboat. Yes, I know everyone's like, oh god, not the tugboat again. Yes, the tugboat again. Um, the reason why is because it's not a bad design. It's really not. It is actually not a bad design at all. Um, it functions. I just wasn't doing it right. I was building it. I was like making it overly complicated. And you're looking at this going, you're attaching headlights to a jet fighter, you know, fuselage. What do you mean overly complicated? <laughs> Yeah, I was I was making the thing overly complicated. So what I needed to do is I needed to cut back a little bit. And I did. I did. I cut back just a little teeny tiny bit. Um, I'm going to rebuild it. I, you know, after I rebuilt it the first time, I had some ideas in my head about it. But um, I'm actually going to rebuild it again. And yes, I am putting a mechanical brain on here. But if you remember, this is what we selected first, so there will will be a Kerbin inside. Kerman. Well, technically they're called Kermans because they're all their last names are Kerman. They're all brothers. But Kerbin, there's going to be a Kerbin inside. Um, one of my, my watchers has corrected me on the pronunciation, or at least the names of certain things, and I'm still getting them wrong. And I am really apologize if that's like really grating to people, um, but I am trying my best. So I am going to put a mechanical brain on there, and that's because the Kerbin inside is not going to be inside all the time. So this has to have its own brain. Plus that was part of the original design, because this was supposed to go up unmanned and be there to be used for the crew. Since there will be a crew, this no longer needs to be unmanned, so this just go, goes on second is how this works. It actually doesn't change the design that much. So I need four of these. And that's going to go on like that. Now I don't think I need two pairs of these. I think those are un uneven. And you remember me, remember, I know it's been a while, but symmetry. Yep, symmetry. I love symmetry so much. I'm going to try to keep it as symmetrical as possible, <laughs> and that's not how you do it. That's not how you do it, 4K. What the hell's wrong with you? Oh. There you go. Perfect. Anyway, as I was saying, I don't think I'm going to need any more than four of those, because this thing, I'm trying to keep it short. I'm trying to keep it, like, very stocky. And uh, the longer it is, the more more sets of these you need. So I need, like, some on the nose, and I need some on the tail, and I may need that later anyway. But for now, I'm trying to keep it to where I don't need that. And for that to happen, I need to find this. So I need the fuel. Boink. So there, there's that. And then down here, we're going to put a very teeny tiny, very simplistic docking arm. Oh, 
and there's one thing that I forgot. Forgot, forgot. Very important. Very important. Oh god, not more headlights. Yes, more headlights. Except not as many. Yeah, like I said, I'm trying to simplify. I'm trying to simplify for you guys. I'm trying to make it better. You know, I'm trying to be your friend. In order to do that, I gotta do this. So they go one, one headlight. No, uh, not straight. That has nothing to do with symmetry. That has to do with being able to see where I'm going. I think I actually should just bring that down. Oop, 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 oop. Like that a little bit. There we go. So it's kind of aimed at the docking port. So yeah, two in the front. I, I guess I could just put one in the front, like underneath, instead of two. Do you think I should do that? No, yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's just put one down here right in the front. Boink. And then one in the back. That way it's not symmetrical. Oh god, what have I done? And then we also need... See, now I can make this a little bit longer. I could. I could. Oop, not what I want. And this is where I start screwing things up, is when I start deciding to make things longer or shorter. I could make it like that. With a mechanical jab on there. But I don't like that. I don't... Damn it. I, I do love mechanical jab in the way it like freaks out when, <laughs> when it's like working really, 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 really hard. But this is a tugboat. It's not high-end technology. So, of course, we're going to just slap one of these babies on there. That's right. Bam. And we'll just leave the antenna stuck in there. The antenna is not a collidable object, so I'm not going to worry about it colliding with things. But I also don't want it sticking out the back, screwing me up. So, there is that. There is our my, <laughs> my newest tugboat design. 2.18 tons, very light, uses RCS fuel rather than a jet rocket. It has no jet jet on there. It's going to be flown by a Kerman, or Kerbin. Uh, Kerbin Kerman. And um, we're going to take this up to the space station and latch onto it, because um, that's what we do. And then from there we're going to take our Kerman and we're going to, to get him into the space station. And he is going to be the guy who takes care of everything. He's going to be up there all by himself, going crazy, going, when are people going to come visit me? Um, that will, of course, come in, in a future video. But for now, I'm going to strap a rocket around this thing and see if we can get it up there. So I will see you guys in orbit and or near our space station. Is that good enough? I think. Oh, it's so light that it worked. Aha, <laughs> so light that it worked. Okay. Yeah, now I'm down to nine frames per second because of the addition of this. All right, we are going to quick save really quick. Quick. I'm um, gonna fix that really quick because no, that's just a planetary rotation, so we're not actually rotating. Um, we are here. I do want to control from here. Is what I want to do now. Control from here. All right, now Bobby is going to go EVA for us. Yay, EVA! And I put little handles on the side of the ship so that Bob will have a place to grab hold. I was thoughtful for him. Um, there's also some other items on the ship, like there's a little antenna, and there's the, uh, the, the speed detector, and the gravioli detector, and all that stuff, just for him. Um, let's go ahead and let go, Bob. Bring out your RCS. Okay, there you go. I don't want to bump into anything. I'm not very good at this. I'm actually very bad at EVAs. I don't have a lot of practice of space EVAs, and I'm already nervous as it is. So if I screw this up, I apologize to both you and to Bob, because I'm like super nervous right now. I've seen some people come out on EVAs and they're like insane about it. They're just like, yeah, let's just go and fly and do this thing. I'm like, no, 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 no. Caution. Caution. Must remain cautious at all times. Down you go, Bobby. Down you go. Alrighty. We just we want to get to this door because that's where we're going, right? That's right, Bobby. That's where we're going. Ooh, ooh. Grab hold. Grab hold, Bobby. Grab. Upside down, but close enough. All right, now Bob is <laughs> scared stupid. He's like, why? Why? What have I done? All right. Ooh, not the perfect view I was hoping for, I'm afraid, because the rotation is a bit off. So unfortunately, Bob's got a very teeny tiny view of the moon um, of the spaceship out there. So the view is not as good as I'd hoped. But... Um, yeah, this is this is gonna be it for for Bob here, um, our wonderful pilot slash monitor for our Kerbal space station, which is lagging out the game so bad. Um, light turning off the lights do, does not help. 
So this is going to be it. This is going to be the space station for now. This is going to be our out of the way, way high up, high orbit refueling station only. It is not going to be used for Kerbal habitation. It's just going to be Bob in the cockpit, maybe in here, um, you know, but he's not going to be, he's, he's not going to be the guy who, or, you know, this isn't going to be the one where people go up and hang out. That we're probably going to build in a lower orbit, I think, because that seems like a lower orbit option. Plus, this thing has gotten so big, like I said, the machine is having a hard time controlling it. So, this is actually going to complete. This doesn't look so bad, I don't think, personally. It's a little, maybe a little uneven, not as symmetrical as I had hoped with this part over here being empty. But it looks really good. And um, this brings me to a very big point, a very, very broad point. I am actually going to hold, and holding now, for those of you who are watching this, a small contest. I'm going to wait a little while for it, but the contest is put in the comments what you think we should name this. Yep, I'm giving the, the, the controls over to you guys. You get to choose the name, and it's going to be permanent. You get to choose the name of the ship. And what's going to happen is I'm going to, to pick like the top five, maybe, uh, you know, top five, or you know, you guys can upvote or whatever you want to do, um, top five names. I will pick the one that I think best fits the station and is most appropriate for Let's Plays because I know that some of you are going to be like, haha, here, let's name it the Ass Hat or something. And cute, but not really good for, for Let's Plays. I'm not going to be like, we're going to go refuel at the Ass Hat. Funny, yeah, but no. So go ahead and put in the comments whatever you think the, the best name would be. That's what we're going to name this. We're going to name this whole thing. Um, whatever you guys have right now, it's just called the Short Stack. I renamed it to the Short Stack. Um, for you guys, or, you know, for the for these Let's Plays, but you get to choose the name. I'm going to name it. We're going to fill up our tanks. Uh, that I may do off camera to ease the burden, and then we're going to use this to fly to far off reaches. Yay! And so you guys think about that, post it up, and then on my next Let's Let's Play or whenever that, whenever enough people you know vote or or speak up as to what they want to call it, whenever that happens, I will say, hey, we're going to name the space station. This is what we're going to name it, and I'll give a shout out to the person who came up with the great name for it. So for now, I would like to thank you all very much for joining me and Bob on this Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. And I will see you next video.